MJ322 323304 for tutorial tutorial so the question here see the question here uh, by referring to the related data sheet so I have provide you all with five data sheet previously solve the question below so we consider a simple on off controller to control the heating element usually we can see this kind of arrangement or simple circuit like this in our iron you know strika iron kan to iron our shirt tu so it just control the heating element by right heating element ni they have a inactive also lah but we consider that one as are not in our priority consideration yet. So that's why you have here the source which applied to your load, resistive load, control your on off <coughs> condition by this power MOSFET. When you put the signal in, they will complete the circuit, conduct. Current will be conducted throughout the circuit. If you take out the signal, so it will be switched off. So what happened here is that try to suggest what are the maximum power limit for the load is that how much assistive load you can put in here such that it will not damage your part this part and this part and this part separately or accordingly lah. so consider for ntd 12 and 10 first so how you want to consider so if you take out uh you look at this part number ntd 12 10 eh? so you take out a uh, uh, look out at your data sheet as i told you before the front page will show you the dashboard of the device so this is your dashboard this is your, your dashboard so it shows here by right it can conduct up to 12 ampere throughout the circuit or throughout the device and it can withstand from gate uh, from drain to source about 100 volt means that you can uh, apply or use in 100 volt uh, environment if you apply more than 100 volt so you will break down or short your circuit same goes to your current here if you draw or conduct more than 12 ampere you will melt down your circuit you can damage your circuit so that is your dashboard is telling you but by right that another consideration to be considered like how much actually uh, at what ambient temperature at what kind of heat sink size you have applied at what duty cycle you are operating right now so that all need to be considered before you can apply to this maximum rating so it means that the first thing you have to do is that you look at your safe operating area and safe operating area when you graph so where is your safe operating area graph? Sometimes it's stated or placed at the next page. Sometimes it's placed at the see safe operating area. Sometimes it was stated or placed at the almost last page. Now. Six out of eight here. So this is your maximum rated forward by a safe operating area. And you set it over there just now it can withstand up to 100 volt can operate up to 12 ampere and 12 ampere but you have to abide to this rule so that value only true when you apply above 10 microseconds so 10 microseconds represent how many frequency in terms of your uh, frequency value Berapa ni? 10 microsecond. Berapa frekuensi dia? Anybody? Aisyah. Berapa frekuensi untuk 10 microsecond? The things that you have to bring along when you uh, go anywhere. Calculator. Pen. And notebook. Kan laptop lah. Notebook. Buku. Ibu tiga lima tu. Hmm. 
Ah, ha? berapa ni? Time microsecond. 100 kilo. Just invert lah. 1 over 10 microsecond. Dah berapa? 100 kilo doktor. Ha? 100 kilo. Micro. Bukan mili ya. Micro. Mm -hmm. 1 over 10 micro. 100 kilohertz. Okay. If you operate above 100 kilohertz only, you can use 100 volt. You can conduct 12 ampere. But if your operation of switching though, <coughs> your switching here, mana? Tak ada sekat ni ya. Apa? If your switching is less than that, so you have to derate or reduce your expectation of your switch. If not, you can exceed. And the on limit for exit, thermal limit exit, package limit for exit. Simple to say, your device will be broken out of damage. No? Let's say you are operating at this 100 microsecond. Just now it's one, uh, 10 microsecond. Eh? So if 100 microsecond, so how much is that? 100 microsecond. 1 over 100 micro. Ten kilohertz. Nampak tak? Frekuensi makin rendah. Capability ataupun you punya <coughs> kemampuan of your holding voltage and current also need to be reduced. Then if you reduce some more, down to DC. So DC is this curve. If you want to apply 100 volt, so you have to reduce your capability or expectation of your current down to bukan sekian satu. Eh, mungkin kau ada empat pun. Mana? So that is the issues. Where, where, when you want to use your <coughs> device. <coughs> so you have to suit with your application. Mana? So how to determine maximum power limit? P equal to V square, VI, V square over R, I square, up. And we can use any of the power uh, terms. Sometimes it's the load power, sometimes it's losses power. So this, this, at this time, you are looking at your dissipated losses power. So the maximum capability of your P is depend on your RMS voltage times your uh, voltage and your current RMS. Lah. So input source now is 100 volt. Then in this kind of, of operation, we are considering that this uh, application work under DC operation because we don't know. It does not, uh, does not, what's it called, does not even reach this kind of uh, range, which is the lowest range. How much? 10 microsecond. Eh? Uh, so they can but other for the DC kind of operation. So when DC operation, so we use that that curve of DC operation. And if you're referring to your curve, of other level, so the other level is your range. And tapi when you use DC, if you want to apply at 100 volt, so you have to derate your current down to 0 0.45 ampere. So this is 1, 0 0.1, so this is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 something. So 0 0.45 lah, uh, lebih kurang. And let's say if you are able to reduce your voltage, average voltage, RMS voltage down to let's say we have here 10, we have here 20 and 20 volt. So your capability of current can go up to 2 ampere. The power money. But this is the curve. It's all about this is the reference curve of your device device capability. If let's say you are operating your device at 10 volt, 10 volt. So the range of your conduction limit your switch you can go up to one two three four five five ampere so this is your soa all about 
how you want to set your limit and of your device daripada dashboard tadi ni reduce down kepada this certain limit based on frequency of your operation tak you refer this to this SOA graph okay so means that if you are going to operate at 100 volt RMS and drain uh, 100 volt RMS so this is your maximum current it can fly so means that this is the total power that you can conduct through your device uh, Pmax ni bukan, ni ni bukan losses lah this is the total current yang boleh you pass through dalam device tersebut untuk aplikasi DC operation Voila. ok untuk soalan yang kedua the second question boleh faham yang, yang pertama tadi ni ok ya so same goes to your NTD IX F ni so you pakai graph yang sama uh, you pakai kaedah yang sama contohnya untuk IF tadi ni mana Jadi SOA juga untuk 100 volt 100 volt maybe page 2 page 3 ha ni dah page yang keempat so this is the page number 4 at 100 volt ok 100 volt you can only use above 100 microsecond 100 microsecond apa kursus ni? 100 micro invert kan 10 kilohertz uh, above 10 kilohertz only you can apply for 100 volt and up to 100 how many is? 200, 300, 400, 500 ampere oh, very high ya current capability dia ID 100 ampere maximum current can go up to 127 ampere there's a note ni see note 1 what note 1 mention here note 1 see the notes calculated continuous current based on maximum level junction temperature bond wire limit is 120 amp so see see you connect your uh, silicon outside device with bond with wires that wire connect to your leg of your three leg though and so this is limited by the bonding limit wire of 120 ampere so next note that the current in limitation arising from heating of the device lead may occur with the some leg mounting and arrangement so device ni dia ada limit dia and kalau you solder dengan lead free punya solder ke, uh, leaded solder ke, so dia akan ada limit dia so apa pun you kena take note on the thermal response such that overall junction temperature does not exceed the limit so if you are DC for DC DC is not applicable here nampak tak? you nak pakai DC tadi kan? 100 volt, you tak boleh pakai lah uh, sebab dia dalam 100 volt uh, 100 volt you kena pakai above 10 kilohertz so untuk DC maximum current can go you can use jawapan yang kata apa? 750 watt hmm sekejap lah oh calculate 750 oh dari sini eh ni mana ni ni soalan B oh ni B
Hmm, bukan ni lah, kosong. Nampak tak? Untuk yang nombor dua ni, for the second part. Input source 100 volt. So under DC operation, the device can allow to operate up to 20 volt. Just kan? Limitation for DC is up to 20 volt. So I kosong, you cannot deliver any power at that 100 volt DC. Oh, 100 volt punya range lah. Uh, 100 volt dalam DC operation. So, is that you cannot use? Hmm, ada ada perubahan sikit lah dalam, dalam tu. Semua lah. Okay, next untuk yang ke uh, dua. Uh, soalan satu dah soalan ke? Any question for the first? Anybody? Tak ada, kita continue yang kedua. Same, you refer to this NTD 12 and 10 ni. Eh? Let's say, so you have uh, acknowledge on the maximum power it can pass through. Okay, consider that if you apply with inductive load, just not resistive load. Uh, resistive load. So resistive load, kita buat dia punya, dia punya susunan adalah sama je. See that? So we have your source, we have your load, we have your the device. Source, load, inductive and resistive, we have your device. The extra part is your diode. See? It's diode. So what this diode is uh, doing here is that when you switch on the circuit, so the current will flow inside the outer loop of the circuit. When you switch off the circuit, there is still current remaining inside your inductor because inductor ni dia lagging. So you switch on, it will not, it will take time to charge. You switch on, you switch off, it will take time to discharge the remaining current dalam inductor. So where the discharging current should go, you should have some pass uh, laluan untuk dia discharge down to zero. If not, if you switch on at higher current, at current mode, uh, you can dapat spark. So, you can add the damage, you can use for the MOSFET. So, you have to reduce, uh, dampen the current that remain inside your inductor ni. Uh, throughout the inner circuit, dia jatuh down, reduce to zero only, you can switch on. So, you can apply zero current switching dekat uh, MOSFET ni. Uh, okay. So, that is what the power diode here is required to do to dampen the current. So the same current amount, peak current that go into your MOSFET, the same peak current akan lalu dekat power diode. So it's, this is not the control diode, this is power diode. Means that it conduct high current as well. Okay, so this is the simple uh, bug circuit lah, barat. And bug circuit. Step, step down circuit. Okay, what's that here? All the... <coughs> Sorry. All the parameters are here, the peak voltage or DC voltage, ambient temperature, uh, frequency of operation, duty cycle. Duty cycle means that how much is the on cycle, the positive one here, compared to the off state. Is that 60% of the cycle is on, another 40% is off. It on 60%, it off 40%. And it repeats. Huh? And for this switching. So the question is that, that is the scenario. So understand the scenario. So yes, the, uh, the minimum resistance value means that how much the value of your resistance, uh, resistor here, for the previous above limit. Nampak tak? Tadi, you pakai, you kata the 45 watt untuk, untuk that, uh, so how much actually your resistance, resistor untuk that part, uh, that scenario dengan keadaan sekarang ni. Uh, kan nampak? Tadi satu volt eh. So you have to reconsider balik lah. Sebab ni dah, dah berubah lah. Satu enam tujuh volt. 
So if you have calculate, you can see that the value is 25, uh, 25 ohm round. So how to start calculate? So refer to your here. B. So you don't jot down that your due cycle is 0 0.6 this moment. Your average, you have to calculate how much is your average B uh, that will be faced by your device. Average. And average because you work maximum due cycle is 0 0.6 or you stick at 0 0.6. And so 167 is your peak. So B average is 10.5. Two volt and ten point two volt. So when you operate in ten kilohertz of uh, operation cycle, so you can refer to your graph which indicate or the line which indicate the ten kilohertz, which is hundred microsecond and hundred microsecond. So 100 microsecond at 100 volt input, 100 volt input, your range of limit is how much? Up to 4 amperes. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And just now, to DC, so this is the level. So to 100 volt and Hundred volt and hundred microsecond here. So this is the limit. This is the limit. Eh? So you have here. You can conduct up to four ampere. So how to find R? You use the Ohm's law, which is V equal to I R. So R is equal to V over I. So the minimum resistance is twenty five point zero five ohm like that. Eh? Voilà. So same goes to other part. Yang ni tak payah kira sebab dia dah kosong. So kira untuk ni lah. IRB 4310. The same tag should uh, be used. Nah. So done for number two. Anybody that still cannot understand or still lagging, please <coughs> highlight. Uh, Sebab saya tak pasti kalau terputus line sebab line tak stabil kadang-kadang please highlight this voice out lah ok semua ok eh tu ok next for C so when you operate your you select your device see your device here it can work alone or it can work with heat sink so the best is that you have to provide heat sink lah so you can operate your device up to maximum capability of it. If you don't put your heat sink with it, so you have to delete it or reduce the expectation of your device capability. So let's say if you don't put any heat sink, and how much actually the maximum current of the MOSFET, MOSFET here, NTD ini boleh pakai, boleh, boleh di, boleh di uh, apply. If no heat sink being applied, no heat sink being uh, utilized, how much? So, as I told you before, without heat sink means that the device only comes with one element of resistance, which is from junction to ambient. From junction to ambient. As you can see from your data sheet, from your data sheet, you can see that it has thermal value of a uh, two parameters here, R thermal JA and R thermal JC. So JA means that from junction to ambient. JC means that your thermal uh, resistance from junction uh, to your case. And junction to your case. Junction to ambient is applied whereby there is no heat sink being applied. You tak pakai heat sink, so the thermal will be delivered or conveyed or will be dispersed directly from junction to the ambient. 
that's why it has here very high resistance and it takes long time to cool down ataupun very high resistance to disperse your heat to the ambient bila sejukkan dia agak, agak susah, agak tinggi lah dia punya rintangan same like you are walking on the beach and it's hard for you to move compare to you to you when you walk on the pavement uh, asphalt or what say what lah jalan kan, jalan yang rata easy for you all to walk or to jog tapi de bila dekat pasir, pantai so it takes effort uh, to do so so this is the difference lah uh, yeah. from junction to ambient it takes hard uh, waste ataupun values lah but if you have heat sink and you have heat sink so the value or the resistance is quite low so without heat sink so this is the way how to uh, draw lah from junction to the ambient so please draw the circuit even though it's not being requested please draw then please label the circuit so this is your source of heat pd we deliver from your junction down to ambient through the resistance of your junction to ambient thermal resistance so this is the one element that involved when you don't use and heating so the the equation is the same uh, even though it's given also the, question, the formula equation equilibrium equation here, here please rewrite okay please rewrite and do a proper calculation step this is just a summary of the step but do a proper calculation step in calculation it doesn't matter you put unit or not but at the end of the answer please put unit no unit here mean mark will be uh, slash no? mm. you don't know you want to present here what ke ampere ke celsius ke uh, volt ke so no unit no mark in between doesn't matter you don't put unit apa at last answer please put unit so write down the formula so here the main concern is how much the tj how much our tj now when our pd at certain certain value and our thermal ga ni which we found from data sheet of our device at certain value and at that scenario of ambient ambient temperature at what value so that is your tj and so how much maximum current of small fat and so we found that the maximum water the junction temperature can go up to 175 degrees C and dalam juga data sheet tu here the device uh, information here all are available inside your data sheet lah. and 175, 85 here yang ni dapat daripada uh, scenario so that's why I told you please once you get the question draw the circuit, label and jot down all the data TJ berapa? Uh, Altima GA berapa? PA berapa? So PD berapa? If not known yet, so please just put a uh, question mark and question mark. So the the formula is that uh, is given. So write down the all the information given. So the unknown is the things that you have to find first. Okay. So PD is the unknown. Now, how much PD? PD is equal to I square R is on. I'm not sure we have went through not yet in this uh, note on the discussion, but PD is equal to I square R is on. So find what are the R D S on. R D S on is that the R of your device, resistance of your device. You can see here, you mentioned here R D S on as well, value but go deep into your uh, electrical characteristic of this part see here static drain to source on resistance see the value we have typical we have maximum you can use maximum so that later when your design if you have some constraint you can push some more let's say you have a smaller heat sink you can use test another value which calculate using typical value if your thermal limit is uh, accept so accept 
before maybe you reject and but when you use to test again because you don't have any other thing let's say means that we use this uh value it pass so you can pass huh? but if you use if you use this one as typical calculation uh, value if the thing is small not enough so you have to reject you don't have more uh, space to squeeze um, uh, okay you can use this any of these two value okay let's say you use uh typical lah saya tengok dia punya schema kat sini ya if you use typical oh you speak it for 0.13 okay if you use typical so 0.13 here so this is the value of your rbs on when your tc is at 25 degrees c tc ataupun t junction tu you 25 degrees c so what happen if you are operating at maximum temperature of 175 this one only applicable at 25 degrees c if you want to use at 175 so you have to you refer to the graph which shows here the resistance variation with temperature just now at 25 degrees c the multiply factor is one is that 0 0.130 times one so at 25 degrees c is correct now the resistance is 0 0.130 ohm but when you increase your temperature or when you operate at certain temperature of 100 volts 100 degrees c let's say 125 or maximum 175 so this is the multiplication factor here 2.5 and or now it becomes 2.6 ah uh, 2.6 by specific other point uh, precisely so you have here RDS on at 25 degree C, which is 1, 0.13, times the multiplication number, normalized factor of 2.6. So this is the real value of resistance at 175 degree C. PD for the normal value, 25. Darab dengan multiplication of uh, value that you have to increase due to you increase already your temperature to 175. So this is the RDS on at that time. Uh, so this is your RDS on. Your I just now, because we want to find what is your PD. So your I. PD. Yeah. We find I PD one point four seven watt. So where is this PD comes from? Oh, there. Yeah. Just now we just found the PD. TJ PD. So this is maximum PD. PD means that the dissipated power that the device can handle. Means that you operate your engine, your engine can. Uh, handle up to this what? what? Sorry, you punya losses of your engine and losses. Bukan apa yang dia boleh deliver to the the to the traction lah. Apa yang dia boleh kata the heat of the engine. So from this PD and we have values of PD here. So this PD is also depends on the RDS on and the current that flows. So RDS on we have calculate we have uh the value of 0.338 ohm so how much is the current at this pd uh, so this is the current value lah. pd equal to current uh squared times rds on at 175 degree so you solve your question you're gonna put this is the maximum current you can apply to the switch if there's no heat sink to be used only at 2.09 ampere by right kalau ikut data sheet dashboard depan tu the capability can be up to 12 ampere but 
if you don't use any heat sink so you have to make sure that your device only conducted up to this value if you push more than that or you put more resistor dekat uh, less resistor dekat load ataupun you push in more load ataupun you draw more current exceed this value what happen it will exceed your tj and your i increase your pd akan increase and bila pd increase so overall tj akan increase once tj exceed your limit it will burn ni faham tak hmm it's not one kalau tj kita 0.75 boleh so sebab pd which is 2.6 sorry bukan pd lah this is your normalized factor 2.6 okay okay next ada soalan ke without heat sink okay next it's not without heat sink kan D. D if let's say we have here a resistive element of 10 ohm so suggest the heat sink thermal resistance value need to be put in B in order to maintain junction temperature of each MOSFET below maximum limit about 20% assume that heat sink to be directly soldered on the MOSFET metal tap so sometimes if you refer to the question dia akan nampak macam berbelit-belit kan ah, so same goes to the solving technique just draw and just draw the circuit and draw the circuit then jot down all the information or you believe imagine if you don't draw still you have to imagine inside your mind uh, inside your head kan but please untuk lesser or less uh, reduce the burden of your head put it on the paper and so now if you have to consider heat sink so just draw the heat sink thermal uh, equivalent resistance uh, equivalent resistance the curd with heat sink so as I told you before, if you use heat sink, so there will be instead of one, you have three elements. From junction to case, so this is the information that you get from part, power electronic, uh, power device in your part. They have one thermal resistance. From case to heat sink, you have another thermal system. From heat sink to ambient, you have thermal resistance. So if you take a look at your previous note, and so this is your heat sink, uh, this is your power device this is your thermal insulator ataupun thermal paste so, so this is your heat sink and heat sink so with heat sink the equation will be like this you need to know what is your tj so it depends on the dissipated power times all the elements uh, value junction to case case to heat sink heat sink to ambient and also depend on the ambient temperature they operate at that time. Okay, now if you consider that we are operating 20% below maximum limit, means that <coughs> temperature here is no more at maximum limit. Maximum limit just now is 175. So TJ once uh, TJ max minus TJ 20% 20, 20 eh, means that 175 minus 175 uh, times 0 0.2 so you can dapat 140 degrees C so this is the the limit or the operating temperature that you have to consider for your current design and then PD is equal to I square RDS on so RDS on is now you have to consider at 14 degrees C no more at 175 lah, because we have stated that we need to operate or we shall operate this device or this circuit at once for zero degrees C only. And so we have calculated the average voltage just now, 100.2 volt. Uh, how much is the average current? So average current divide average voltage by average uh, the your your resistor value. No? And so we have here average current of 10. Point Two ampere. Out of this ten point two ampere average, the RMS value is set D times I average seven point seven six ampere. So this one for the CDC buck meter, the meter. Later, if for dedicated question 
regarding thermal. So we just provide the values. But this is referring to the previous tutorial. Okay. So now you have acknowledged on the RMS current, 7.76 ampere. So you have to find what are the RDS on at 140 volts, 140 degrees C. And RDS on is RDS on at 25 degrees C times the normalized factor. We have known that RDS on at 25 degrees C is 0.13 ohm. RDS on at normalized factor of 440 degrees. Just now 175. Now you reduce to 125 and 140. Ah. Gonna... So the what's so called the value is not should should not be too precise, but it is a projection. Tapi jangan lari jauh. Wah, jangan lari jauh sangat. Eh? Nampak tak? So, we consider as 2.1. Nampak tak? We have here 2.0, 2.5. So, here should be 2.25. So, around here will be 2.1 lah. Nampak kan? Uh, jangan kata bawah pada 2, jangan kata 2.3 ke apa kan? So, 2.1, 2.2, 2.2. Uh, 2.05 like that is acceptable lah. Plus minus uh, 5 or 10 cent. Okay, means that the dissipated power I square R D S on. Kita akan dapat 16.44 watt. And so, masuk balik dalam calculation di atas tu. Equilibrium, equilibrium punya equation. Tj equal to Pd uh, times uh, RJ, R thermal JC, R thermal CS, R thermal SA, fixing value plus ambient temperature. So you can dapat nilai untuk your required heat sink for this device to be able to conduct 7.76 ampere and maintain temperature of your junction at 140 degrees C or below. So why this value is zero? Uh, that's the question. Our thermal JC, CS here. From case to heat sink. Mengapa? Kosong. Hmm? Any question? Any question? Like any answer? Why it was considered as zero? Anybody? Akromul Shafi'i. The Japan ke? Why is so? Why is was zero? Nampak tak? Suka ni. Go away lake. Mengapa kosong? Huh? Why it was zero? So by the time please. Dekat chat tu saya letak attendance please check in yourself at the attendance white or zero that's it kan semua you see here from junction to ambient from junction to ambient and the heat which generated here will be transfer to the case from case to heat sink heat sink to ambient that's why we have three elements. From junction to case, case to sink, sink to the ambient point. T A T means that the temperature value at that point, at the point of junction, point of your case, point of your sink, point of your ambient. So why from C to S we have zero resistance? <clears throat> you can see here the value of JC we get from uh, junction to case ni dapat daripada data sheet of the device kan. Uh, untuk from heat sink to ambient, thermal value resistance dapat daripada data sheet of your heat sink lah. So from case to heat sink, 
we have here solder paste ataupun insulator, thermal insulator. Dapat daripada mana? Dia punya manufacturer lah. Kan? Tapi dalam soalan tadi dia kata, ha, kena faham soalan lah. Soalan dia, assume that the heat sink to be directly solder. Ah, means that you solder dari di patri terus. That's why when you patri terus dia punya resistance consider as zero. It's not resistant. You patri antara case dengan heat sink ni, so case dengan heat sink, they have they are sharing the same temperature value lah. And uh, so TC and TS are the same. Ah, uh, that's why we have zero and zero resistance. Some more you can see on the device itself, on the package. How about that? Package ni. This is NTD 1210 ni. How about that? This is SMD. And so yang ni kalau SMD ni memang you solder terus lah. Nak bubuh space macam tu. Ini mungkin. Ni pun solder juga. Mungkin kalau dia punya heat tu tak berapa nak uh, critical. So you can use solder paste. You can click on the, click on the it sink and you can click on the it sink click on the it sink mana dah pergi dah mana uh, pergi click on the it sink where is the question nampak dah you can click to the it sink kita ada ruang untuk screw you can click and but if you put on the pcb so you have only one way which is to solder it down to the PCB board. Okay. Semua senyap sunyi je ni. Available ke? Okay, question. If you calculate that your your required heat sink is 2.82 degree C and for sure normally bila you select or you want to choose heat sink in the market, there is no specific number like that. 2.82 degree C of heat sink. Let's see kalau kita carilah. Dalam you punya panel tu. Uh, panel tu. RS. Sink. Heat sink. Linear heat sink. High density heat sink. What's that you lah. Nampak tak heat sink. Contoh ni kan. Natural convection heat sink. So. Okay. Let's see kalau kita carilah. So. Based on your number. Kita ada filter ni. How much it sink that you need? 2.8 katakan. 2.82. Tak ada kan? Ni kalau 2.8 lah. Kita ada 6 pilihan. Show all the result. So this is the choices of the heat sink. Nampak tak? So the first thing you have to look if you want to choose heat sink. Ada the cost lah. Buat cost of heat sink. Kadang way too expensive compared to your device. Your device memang 23 ringgit eh. Kan your device just now ada dengan 24 ringgit kan. Oh nak dah. Tapi sini nak 32 ringgit, 50 ringgit. Tak apa ni harga dah. Okay. So you have to match with your fixing unit out. Ah uh, device out. Buat. Yang ni kan. Ah uh, then you have to put some effort to screw it to make a hole more process lah. Yang ni dia ada dah ada ni lah to a hole ni kan. Uh. So sama will meet in term of your space of your overall part, overall product lah. Kan. Okay, let's say you have another value. Kan. Just not 1.2.8. 2.2, you have 2.9 or you have uh, what ni? You have Ah, mana pergi? You will have different value. It's not 2.8 katakan kat sini. But you have different value which is, which is cheaper. And your requirement is 2.8. But it comes with let's say 2.7 or 3.03. So which one is better? Huh? <coughs> 3.3 ke 2.7 ke? You need 2.82. It comes in, let's say, 2.5 dengan 3.0. So which one is? 
Mana lagi okey? Ya, mana lagi okey? Aisyah. Oh, Aisyah. Mana lagi okey? Aisyah okey ke? Which one is better? So you can counter check. Aisyah pun sengak lah. You can counter check. You need 2.82 but you have 2.5. So you put here 2.5. So you look at what happened to TJ. You set TJ as unknown. Because kita punya fokus dekat TJ kan. Apa dia dengan TJ kalau kita letak di sini. Dengan ambient temperature ni. Fixing banyak ni. Yang ni tak berubah lah sebab kita dah solder. Yang ni memang tak berubah sebab kita dah dapat daripada data sheet. Yang ni pun kita consider as it run at this value of dissipating power. So how much happen to the TJ? Barak. Kita test lah. Ha, dengan lower value apa jadi dengan TJ? Dengan higher value apa jadi dengan TJ? So that's the better. Kalau TJ lagi rendah, you better to you are able to cool down your junction temperature. So that should be better value. Means that lower temperature resistance, lower thermal resistance is better for your design. Okay, settle untuk C. Next is your D. Eh, settle untuk D. Next your F. F, 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 F. Okay, untuk F. Sama je, dia ulang. Ni soalan uh, exam video ni. Uh, kita tengok lepas. So, based on BTB12 ST microelectronic transistor, assume that mounted on the heatsink through thermal pad 0.1 degree C per watt. And when temperature 40 degree C. Nampak tak? So, required here to draw equivalent circuit of your, uh, draw thermal circuit lah of your uh, system here. So, even though not being request, please draw lah. Because you need to refer to the circuit for overall consideration. Lah. Hmm, nak nak pergi dah. Tak ada lah sini. Ya, eh. Okay. In meantime, ada ada sebarang soalan daripada siapa-siapa? Any question? Any question from the floor? Ada soalan? Hmm, ada apa lagi? Okay, if we have the question, like this, data Given here, please write or draw, write the label and insert all the information. Okay. So draw the equivalent circuit and derive the generic thermal equation of the system. And so derive the generic equation. So how you have to do it? So it will be based on what you have discussed inside your class, I think. So you consider each of the components here like what you uh, learn on the Ohm's law, which is if you want to take a look how much current that flows inside the circuit for this part. So I equal to V over R. So I equal to V over R. Tj here, divide Tc, uh, divide by ultimate Jc. So that is so if you want to know the 
TJ, so you just rearrange such that the TJ is placed in front. So PD, Ultima JC, and TC as your next equation ataupun equilibrium part here. So you can take TJ, put here, and all equation at the back. Same goes to the TC point. And just now, voltage at TJ, ataupun equivalent uh, thermal value at TJ, is equal to PD, RG, TC, R thermal JC plus TC. What happened at TC? The same. And PD, the current that flows, times thermal resistance plus TS. Same goes to TS. TJ, TC, TS. Then the TJ here is equal to uh, yang ni, yang kedua ni masuk ke sini. Yang ketiga masuk kedua. You rearrange balik semua. You akan dapat TJ equal to R thermal JC, R thermal CS, thermal SA plus T ambient. And, ataupun kalau you nak tahu how much PD, so you just rearrange that PD dekat ke kiri. Yang lain semua pergi kanan. Sama je. Nampak tak? So this is the derived equation from the thermal circuit. So then calculate heat sink that you need to maintain junction temperature 100 degrees C at maximum conductible current. Means that how much the current can conduct, uh, how much you uh, berapa maksimum current ni dia letak dengan you nak set temperature you dekat satu C how big the heat sink you have to provide nampak tak <coughs> so equation per given redraw or rewrite bagi uh, balik semula so the information that you have from the sheet you jot down and the scenario that given how much ambient ambient temperature also you take note so we have here atom JC of your transistor uh, 1.5 degrees C per watt and atom JC and maximum RMS current 16 ampere maximum current 16 ampere ini refer kepada apa part apa ni ah uh, BTB 16 BTB 16 sir ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. Sir, memang tak present. Come again? Sir, ni ke? Uh, tengah ajar guna slide lah. Oh, ya tak ni, no, tak share lah. Ya. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Tak nak klik. Apa lah. Okay, okay. Baru nak klik. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, again, we look at this uh, questions uh, number two here. Calculate the heat sink thermal resistance. You need, if you want to maintain junction temperature at 100 degrees C. And consider that at that time, maximum conductible current is operating. Uh. And so, the circuit ni, just now, it operate at maximum current maximum current to BTB 16 so BTB 16 uh, ada dalam narai ada dalam narai appendix kah so kalau tak ada saya just cari kat sini BTB 16 so we have here a few of it try it from a few manufacturer. So let's see we take from this STM. So data sheet. So C. Snubbler's logic level standard 16 ampere triac. 16 ampere triac. Okay, 16 ampere is our maximum capability current of this device. Okay. Okay, write down the equation. 
TJ equal to PD, atom JC, atom CS, atom SA plus T ambient. And write down the information from the data sheet. How much is your atom CS? Uh, given here, atom CS 0 0.1 degree C per watt. Dalam soalan ni kan? Masa kata sing tu dah bagi, eh uh, bukan. Thermal phase ataupun thermal satu dah diberi. Thermal JC, you kena cari daripada data sheet. Thermal JC is... JC. We have two value here. Dipad ka, saturated ka. 1.2 ka, 2.1 ka. So which one? Which one? So we have two different different package. So dipad ataupun apa lah? Dipad ataupun macam ni. Ah, posisi bukan ni lah. Sebab tadi dalam soalan dia tunjuknya kan. So bukan yang di square pack ni. So should be the above one. So the above one is referring to which one? <coughs> eh, the above one should be this one lah. 2.1. <coughs> Alright. Bukan ni kan. So should be this one. Which is 2.1. 1.2 1 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 1.2 
what happened to the J if you put this value kat sini kan PD dah tahu this value is taken from data sheet this is given or you have to refer data sheet for your insulator this is your heatsink value this is your ambient so what happened to your TJ is it maintain 100 kalau maintain 100 okay let's say if you have another value of your heatsink masukkan juga dekat sini check balik apa jadi dengan TJ nampak tak uh. So here, oh we have two part number ni. Dia ada data sheet datang dengan BTA 16 dengan BTA BTB 16. BTA dengan BTB 16. So BTA dengan BTB. Two part number here. BTA dengan BTB. So ni different manufacturer ni uh, sebab dia dua ni adalah uh, package yang lain Alright, kalau daripada different manufacturer lah. So we see So settle here nanti saya tengok dia punya data sheet ni yang betul lah Dia punya ultimate DSC is now different. Just now it 1.2, now 2.1. So maximum current capability of 18.55 watt here will need different because we have here different already. Different value. So different value of fixing is required which is 1.043. Instead of just now 1.94, now we need the lower value of fixing. So how much is it? For the same material, it seems need to be increased 45% size. Lagi besar it seems, lagi better conduction dia. Mana? Means that you have to need, you have to provide better it seems. Better it seems means that bigger it seems. Yeah. Or better it seems with low thermal resistance required for the transistor. Yeah, that's the conclusion. Yang lain tu nanti kita discuss kemudian. Empat lah. Okay, ada soalan tak? Setakat tu. So that's the conclusion of it. Uh, any so any question? No, no question. Ikmal belum masuk. Mana habis Ikmal? Any question? <coughs>